everybody, what's going on? It's Lemon King back here for another next channel spotlight and review. And I believe this is spotlight number 11. We are here with ZMK Slayer. This channel has been up for about two or three years now. And it's Call of Duty stuffs. We have some Destiny stuffs and some Minecraft stuffs. Normally uploads less than two times a week. His in game name is ZMX Space Slayer. And he is partnered with Awesomeness TV. So welcome back. And if you're wondering why the YouTube is all dark, that's because I'm in dark mode. Dark mode is an addition to Google Chrome. It, what it's called is Heartbeat, and it comes from my partnership, which is Freedom. And they have the Heartbeat monitor, and it tells you you could like hook up with other YouTubers. It has some different tabs, and you also turn it to dark mode. It makes YouTube background black. So, we're going to do this in dark mode here. If you want it, you have to go and sign up for Freedom. It doesn't matter how many subs, how many views you have, you can go and do it, and Freedom will help you grow. So, let's hop into this channel spotlight today. Always starting out, we have the channel logo and the banner. Channel logo looks really good. It has your name in it, and it has the background flaming, all kinds of cool stuff. This is really well too, the nice color glass, broken glass type of name, and also the Call of Duty background to show off your channel. So, let's head down here into the... Can't read more apparently. No, okay. We're going to look at the channel intro. Alright, I see what you're doing here with the channel intro. So it's a uh, multiplayer montage, which is montages I don't have a problem with as your channel intro because it pulls people in like, oh, they do Black Ops 2 montages, stuff like that. So it's it's short and it fits the thing. What I would suggest is adding a intro into it too because it's kind of like a full video. Let's see what's on the end here. Looks good. Nice channel art. That I would put that as your intro. All right. So everything else looks good here. This is all looks pretty good to me. So let's hop into the videos. And looks like I haven't recorded in two months. So it's very sparse uploading time. Which to be to be a successful YouTuber. One, the biggest thing, the biggest advice that I can give is stick with it. There are so many people on YouTube who try to get on here and expect to have a million subscribers in a month. It's not going to happen because the YouTube search base is so large. So the best way to do it is stay with, like, I'm still going here. And I've been, everybody's like, I keep getting questions from some people like, you only have 700 or some or some kind of views per video. Why don't you just quit? Because obviously not a lot of people are watching. If you quit, that means you're giving up on all your hopes of it coming. So you look at Sky does Minecraft. He's been doing this for three years now, and look how long it took him to get up there. And if you can't really tell by his starting videos anymore because so many people have watched them, but if you look down, their their starting numbers look like years and eyes and we started out. So the whole idea is you'll learn as you go along in YouTube. You gotta stay with it though. You can you'll learn tips along the way from your partnerships, from friends, you'll have friends who are gonna help, you'll learn about the forums, you'll expand, and you'll grab more viewers into your content. But another good tip to use is varietize, which means don't upload the same content every single time. For instance, I don't upload Minecraft every single day of the week. I have these channel spotlights. I have the Sunday show. I have Minecraft videos. I have all kinds of stuff. So, the big thing to learn about this is varietize. Because then you'll attract different audiences. If you're just uploading Minecraft videos, you're only going to attract the Minecraft viewers. If you upload Call of Duty, Minecraft, Spotlights, Tutorials, uh, 
Gary's Mod, stuff like that, you're going to attract different audiences because people search in the top YouTube box up in here. They search names. Like I search his name to get him up. But they search based on key. And it's also a big thing of your tags. And I should be able to see. So let's just click on the latest one. Oops. Slide in that one. I like this starting. It's not really an intro, but it's but it's kind of it's kind of the same thing. You have your name and everything on here, and you're like thanking the people, and you have a clear voice, so that's good. So so it's like realistically, I still think that should be your intro down to the ending here, but. You don't need, it's necessarily, you don't need commentary. Commentary is good if you are good with speaking and you know how to talk to your audience. Like, I took speech classes, I took all kinds of classes where I had to speak. So I don't have a problem speaking in front of people, whether it's a few, a hundred, a thousand. If you had me go into a stadium and try to speak, I could probably do it. But... You don't need necessarily need to have commentary for some of these videos, but for instance, like Minecraft, you should, because it's really hard to just watch without commentary and having it be funny. So I can check out here. Three months old, directly mom pies you. That's a harder. That's gonna hurt because anything directly monetized by by YouTube, your estimated earnings is gonna turn out to be poop. So my videos are monetized by freedom and even I I don't get a lot of money a month I get like two bucks a month starting out here but I'm not doing this for the money and that's a lot of that's the thing that other people do as well is they try to do this in the inspiration like oh sky does Minecraft makes millions of dollars which he doesn't but that's the people's like oh I want to do that that's all I'm doing so they go on YouTube and then after a month and they don't start making the big bucks they quit you're not gonna come on your YouTube should be a hobby you have to enjoy doing it. I enjoy making videos, and obviously you're going to have critics. You're going to have people who are going to say, oh, your content's really good, I want to play with you. Then you're going to have people who are going to be like, oh, your content sucks, you should just quit. And those are the people that try to bring you down, and that's what you can't let happen. So, that's the whole idea about that. Um, these tags look good. I, I don't have, I don't see a problem with these tags. Basically, that's a good starting thing too, Destiny shows up, so I don't see any problems here. Uh, down here... I would add a little bit more detail about what Destiny is, just to show it off. So, yeah. We can go and move on now to the playlist tab. So... You should have almost every video in a playlist. I'm going to repeat this for like the probably 11th time now. But playlists are important because if a person comes on to your YouTube and they like a certain video like Minecraft Hunger Games, they're going to want to watch more. So they will not want to sit and go through your whole videos tab in order to find the Hunger Games videos. If you have them in a playlist, they can just go to the playlists and be like, oh, there's all the Hunger Games videos. I can start by number one and go all the way up to the present. And that's what I did for Gude. I watched his... I didn't start watching him until season two or then of season two, number three. But I wanted to go back and see where it all came from, see where Minecraft started. So I went back and watched his entire season one from start to finish. Obviously not in one sitting. But I went to his playlists and watched it. So that's the importance of playlists. So if you don't, if someone tells you playlists are not important, they are very important on YouTube. Channels doesn't have any channels. Um, what I would do is add. If you don't have any people who you're friends with on YouTube, or you don't record with anybody, or they you don't match with anybody, then at least add the, your subscriptions onto there, or people subscribe to you, or who you like. Because then it gives people an idea like, hey, 
this guy likes him, maybe I will too. This and this and that. Yeah, so that's the idea about that. And the about page. Uh, everything's good here. I like how it's spaced apart. It's easier to read. And it also shows you the video recorder. And I like the phone. Turtle Beach are... Turtle Beach are good headphones. Um, I don't have any special headphones for my Xbox, but I think I have the one set I have, my red set, that might work if I find where to plug it in at. But the weird thing I have with the Xbox controller is it plugs into the controller, and I'm like, what? That was, that was strange. I was like, how does this plug into the controller? <laughs> so I don't really use it because I don't hear anything out of the... And I haven't played with anybody yet, and I don't hear anything out of the thing. It just comes through my TV. So... Because my TV is my monitor too. I have the Xbox plugged into the same thing as the console, as the PC. So everything looks good here. Gamer tags and everything right here. So if you wanna check out his about page to get all the information, I'm not gonna put it down in the description. Oh, drop pen. You can come to his about page. And that is the end of today's episode. So take into consideration what I have said. If you are even still on YouTube ZMX Slayer, hopefully you come back and join us. And don't give up hope yet. So, thank you guys for watching, and as I always end every thing, what I do and what you should do is go on and subscribe to ZMX Slayer. So I thank all of you guys for watching, hope you all enjoyed, hope you all learned something from this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like, if you greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to ZMX Slayer, and also comment down below if you have any questions for me or any tips for ZMX. And that's all I got, so remember guys, stay with it on YouTube, and someday you can become successful. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys later.